so much for coming to Lagos. My name is Daniel. How can I help you? A controlino. But what is a controlino? Oh. Wait. So you don't know what the controlino is? It's wearing our time. So, following up on Daniel's question, what is a controlino? Well, basically, a controlino is a simple industrialized Arduino board that can fit inside a PLC. In the automation environment, you might have found some applications that can be solved with an Arduino, but you are not able to use it in the industrial environment. Most of the time, a PLC is not able to grasp what you can do with your mind, so you can place the image you have in your project. This is when Controlino comes up to the plate. Controlino's main goal is to give freedom to the people that want to develop their application. So, to talk about Controlino, we need to talk first about the system that it's based on, that is the Arduino. Arduino is an open source electronic platform. It is to use hardware and software wise. And over the years, Arduino has been the brain for most of the application the electronic community have done. From easy didactic tasks to really complex applications really. A very wide community of students, scientists, researchers and a lot of people that want to get into the electronic business use this as the base for their projects. So, this software and hardware is versatile as well as it can go from the most principles of programming to a hardcore application. I said a lot of good things about the Arduino, so what's the catch? You can't really use Arduino in the industrial environment. It's really hard to use because you don't have the same specification you have from your PLC. This is not as rough as we want it to be. The automation branch is one of the most difficult to please. This is one of the most exigent installments we will find in the electronics branch. So, how does Controlino help us solve all of these issues? Well, we have the new solution as a PLC that is compatible with Arduino. Best part about it is that you can keep your do-it-yourself works or you can go to the next step and place it in industrial applications, something really big that you want to do with your enterprise. They are certainly changing the rules, as this is open source, so you don't have to expend anything on software. Having a Controlino in your installment will grant you the safest, cheapest and more efficient PLC that you can find on the market. Imagine having the flexibility, versatility and utility from the Arduino inside a PLC that can be actually used in a big factory. What options do we have to set up this project? We have three models on the Controlino PLCs. We have the Mini Controlino, the Maxi Controlino and the Mega Controlino. First and foremost, we have the Mini Controlino. Remember, size isn't everything. This is the small installment of the Controlino branch, but it's as powerful as the Mega version. It has less inputs and outputs, but it can be used for the same end. You can keep the flexibility from your do-it-yourself works, or you can use it to develop a big industrial application. Getting one of these devices inside a electric box or a hardware box won't get you any problems. Six relay outputs, six relay inputs, and pack it all off with two interrupt inputs. 
this is the perfect instrument for development. For starters, this is the best control needed to get and is one of the most versatile in the market. Second on the list, we have the Controlino Maxi. This Controlino, that you can see right here, is one of the closest to the PLC brands that you see on industrial applications. This one is like the normal Controlino, you can call it, but is as powerful as the Mega version. For this reason, this is the best seller that we have in Controlino. It's really interesting how you can use this replacing a normal PLC brand. One of the most attractive features that it has is that the size is comparable to the smallest PLC in the market and the power is compared to one of the biggest ones. The composition itself harnesses the power of the 80 Mega 2650 processor. For this one, we have 10 input, 10 output and the characteristic 2 interrupt inputs. I believe this Controlino to be the very top of the ladder. Last but not least, we have the Controlino Mega. This Controlino is the biggest of the Controlino family. It's really used for massive applications. It's really rugged, so it can use in really harsh environments. So this one is a no-brainer when it comes to really big applications where you need a lot of inputs and a lot of outputs. This pack 16 relay outputs, 21 digital or analog inputs and the characteristic 2 interrupt inputs. So what do we have here? First you can see that the cover is really robust, really rocked compared to the other one. You can see that it can, in, it can easily fit in a hardware box, in an electronic box, you can use it easily there. It's important to know that it has the electronic ESD um, certification, so you can use it uh, in case of over voltage, in case of over currency, you won't have any problem running, running one of them. So, how to choose a Controlino? I would say that if your application is maybe small and you want to turn some LEDs on, you want to set off some relays, you want to control a small I know, lighthouse or something like that, then you can go for a Controlino Mini. This is the best for dev development. It's better to do small projects, do it yourself projects that you want later to do in an industrial level. Then you have the control in the maxi. I would say that if you want to take a step into hardcore autom automation, you have to use a control in the maxi. You, you will not run out of inputs and outputs, so it's big enough for those projects that you want to run on, I don't know, maybe a production line. And it has the rock uh, case that most of the PLC has. Also, the electrical protection is quite good for these applications. And if you are going to blow, blow the ball out of the park, then you will need a Controlin Omega. The Controlin Omega is one of the biggest. It has a lot and lots of inputs and outputs. It also can be customizable for, for your application, but it's really, how you say, it's really versatile, really flexible. So you can use it uh, in small projects and medium projects and in really really big pro projects and the price is not that set apart from the other so you can really use it there so can i use this plc and transfer my arduino program directly excellent question actually you can drag your program directly into the controller it has the same ide as arduino so there's no effort in doing that. You just have to get the wiring right because if your inputs and outputs are not aligned, you will have some troubles. And what should I get a Controlino instead of use a PVC case for my Arduino? Well, that's a good one. Aside from the rubbed cover and the protection that you can get, this Arduino board is 
not robust enough to fit an industrial place. So if you are not cool with that, if that's not enough to get a Controlino run by all the certifications that the electronics for the Controlino has that the Arduino doesn't, you have to go for something that is actually protected against over voltage, over currency, and that has that little fuse that can save us from some light outs or from some blackouts that can go on our cities, you know? But could it really replace a PLC in the industrial branch? I believe that this is right. You can replace the PLC you have with a Controlino. It has the same function, it has almost the same form, it, it has the same functionality. You just can program this in the Arduino IDE, which makes this a lot easier. This is all the time we have now, but don't miss our next webinar. We are going to be doing some videos too, some content that, to keep the channel alive. I hope to be getting some time in a regular basis to get back to you. But for now, you can check up our blog, our website, and our social media. We are really active on there. You can search us in LinkedIn and YouTube. And I hope to catch you guys the next time.